My name is Larry Blake, and I'm a shareholder in Mutual One. And I do play reviews for the um, uh, Golden Rain News. I've been doing it since, I, I think it was 2006, somewhere around there, that I approached them with the idea, and they said yes. And we've been doing them uh, one a week um, since then, except when there are times like right now, um, there isn't much happening. And so there hasn't been a review in the last couple weeks because there just weren't any openings. And I usually go to the opening night um, because we have that problem where if I see a show on Saturday, it doesn't get submitted till the following Thursday and then doesn't print till the following thir Thursday. So I only can do theaters that run at least three weekends or more. Um, that's my, my education is in theater. I, uh, I went to undergraduate and graduate school back east, a small college called Glassboro State, which is now called Rowan University. And then for graduate school, um, I went to Temple University in Philadelphia. And I've been involved in theater ever since I was 10 years old. So. 50 years, 52 years. I started as an actor in community theater and then I did a lot of acting in uh, uh, high school and college. In graduate school I started directing, uh, but I've always balanced the two. I enjoy both. If a directing job comes, I'll take it. If it's if it's a play I like. If it's not a play I like at this age, if it's not a play, I don't do that anymore. I used to do that. I used to do it just to make the money, but I don't do that anymore. I'll just say, um, no, thank you. <laughs> Same with parts. I'm getting really picky now. I just, I, and there are some parts I just won't accept anymore. So. Well, since you come at this from an academic background, let me ask you some, an academic question. Okay. Is there a pantheon of the arts? What do you mean by that? I mean, is there a hierarchy? Is there, does uh, painting, sculpture, um, drawing, music, theater, do they fall in some kind of a line? Well, there are several, theater is subdivided into many, American theater particularly. You have musical theater, which is a totally different animal from educational theater or commercial, I mean it is a commercial theater, but a lot of the people involved in musical theater don't do what they consider not serious theater. Um, academic theater is a little more snobbish. Uh, they, they will do plays, they don't care whether it makes money or not. They'll do Samuel Beckett and um, playwrights who traditionally don't make money. Where in a commercial theater you, you look for cash cows and things that will make money. Um, it, most theaters are um, self-sustaining. They have to make money in order to survive. Most theaters do. Uh, an educational theater doesn't because it's, um, it's funded by the college or university. So uh, when, you, when you act in an educational, you get, you get treated great because you have a costume or you have this, everything's done for you. It's very nice, but it doesn't happen in the real world and, unless you do professional theater. Um, there is definitely a chasm between amateur theater and professional theater. Uh, uh, there is a... Uh, there is, if there is an hierarchy, although that's changing now, for years the pinnacle was to get to New York. New York was the center of American theater. It's not as much anymore. Now more interesting things are being done in what we call regional theaters, like South Coast Repertory here in Costa Mesa, a very good repertory company. They do original drama. What that does is, because of all the high costs now, that gives the playwright a chance to see his play in front of a live audience at a place like South Coast Repertory or Seattle Repertory. 
and then they can invite producers in. And in many cases, it does go on to New York, but that lessens the risk when they can see what, how audiences are reacting. Because there's one thing, y you can read a play, and I've done that many times, you read a play, and you think, wow, this is great. And then you go see it, and theater is such a collaborative art that the director and the actors weren't exactly right, and they missed it somehow. And so the production doesn't gel. <laughs> yeah, at that age, I, I knew how tough a business it was, and I went into teaching instead. So I, I admire them, but when they see examples succeed like they have, you, you know, I, I understand why they, they ha you know, because that, if you're going to do it, that's the age to start, because it's a very, very tough business. And if you're going to succeed, you have to start right in the beginning. You hear that often from actors. Don't give up your dream. Stick to it until it happens for you. Is there anything you think you'd like to add to this that I haven't asked you? No, well, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of some funny story or something, but, um, you know, theater is such an interesting uh, thing it's it's a transitory and a temporary art so you have your memories and maybe some photos and I have a lot of memories I have a lot of good times and uh, fun things to remember I tell wonderful stories to actors when I direct of of really bad actors that I had to direct but I don't use any names <laughs> of course <laughs> but I have some real funny stories and you it's on the amateur level especially it's about having fun it's about creating an atmosphere for the actors to learn because you're not only the director you're also the teacher you have to teach them some of the ABCs but not so much anymore with these kids coming out of the high school of performing arts they already know you don't have to teach them how to stand, you don't have to teach them how to project, you don't have to teach them where the dips and the valleys are in the, in the dialogue. They've got it already. So um, it's a lot of fun working with them. I enjoy it. And, and, I, and I'm going to do it again. Um, Huntington Beach has offered me a, a, a job to direct a farce that I really like called The Lady from Maxime's by Fado, and we're going to do that next spring. And so I'm going to look forward to that because it's mostly teenagers and that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs>